standing multifidi. This exercise strengthens and wakes up the multifidi muscles, which are part of our core. They're the most posterior part of the core. They live on the spine. They attach those spinous processes that run straight up and down the spine to the transverse processes, which live more out to the side. All right, they help to stabilize all of those segments. And uh, if someone has back pain, they're often not working quite well. Sometimes we have one side that overworks, the other side is underworking or sometimes not working at all in certain segments. Um, these muscles run all the way from your sacrum, the sacred bone, all the way up to the cervical spine. And you can see some imagery of the spine on my shirt I'm wearing today. It's a lovely shirt from the company called Pilates Nerd, if you're interested in purchasing one. Um, and it, as it says here, Pilates has your back. So to find these muscles with our fingertips, we're gonna take our fingertips to our belly button, about the level of the belly button, and then trace the fingertips around the, to the spine, find that pokeyardy bone, all right, the spinous process, and then bring your fingertips just out to the edge of the vertebrae there. Okay, dig in with those fingertips. And then we're gonna stand in a parallel position about hip distance, which is not the width of the flesh, but the actual distance of your hip bones. It's about a fist distance apart. And then we're gonna shift our weight subtly forward and backwards. And notice if you feel both sides of the back engage, there's a little flutter side to side, or if it's just one side that wants to do all of the work. This might change day to day, depending on your back health, what you've been doing with your body, or it might stay pretty consistent. All right, we ideally want both sides to plump up, if you will. All right, and if you're feeling one side overworking more than the other, or you're feeling a lot of fluttering back and forth, um, the fluttering isn't necessarily um, letting you know that you have dysfunction in the body. It might just be that you're um, needing to continue to work on your balance, <laughs> okay? Um, but if you have some dysfunction in your back, say you have uh, or a special condition like scoliosis or, or something going on like that, then you may certainly notice one side of the back working a lot harder. So this exercise can help sometimes to balance out the firing of the muscles on each side. So it's a really subtle but very effective exercise for a lot of people. Now, these muscles, they rotate us to the opposite side. So when I step forward with my left foot, when we're walking, which we often in Pilates land will call gait, all right, when we step on the left foot, the torso should rotate towards the front leg. So I'm going into a left rotation with my torso. When I'm rotating left, it's the opposite multivitae that should fire. So I should feel the right side of my back. So let's try that, just left foot forward, fingertips touching just on the outside edge of the spine there and take a subtle rotation to the left as we transfer the weight to the left foot. We'll see if we can get the right side of those multifidi to fire. Now it's hard to feel the multifidi at any other level of the spine because there's so many other muscles. And certainly you may be feeling other muscles during this exercise as well. But these exercise or these um, muscles, since they activate when we rotate to the opposite direction, we if we feel a plumping up, most likely we're getting in there to the multifidi, perhaps the spinalis as well. Okay, let's try the other side right foot forward, left foot back, and then that subtle rotation to the right as we transfer the weight to the right foot, we should feel the left side of the back ideally engaging. So for me with my scoliosis, I've worked on this a lot. I get both sides to fire, but the left side is still just, it's not quite as thick and built up. It's not as strong on the left side of my back as the right, but it's working a lot better than it used to back in my uh, earlier days, <laughs> my teen years and my 20s and even in my 30s. I'm actually in, in my 40s now and feeling much better in my body than earlier in my life. So it is possible <laughs> as we age sometimes to feel better and better. All right. 
So that's, a, again, a very simple exercise. It doesn't need to take that much time. Uh, maybe when you wake up in the morning, especially if you have an imbalance in your body, just standing at the edge of your bed, not on your bed, but just as you wake up and step off of your bed. Then just taking a little weight shift, see how things are. Take some weight transfers. You know, maybe you're just doing like three to 10. All right, and then you can also take a walk around your room and see what happens as you're walking. Are you getting that firing? Yeah, so if it's the left foot that's coming forward, then you should feel the right side of the back and vice versa. All right, I hope that's very useful for you. And I look forward to sharing more Pilates with you in my future videos. If you have questions, do feel free to reach out to me.